All right, everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to look at some World War II era K-Bar USN Mark I knives. Um, this is the original configuration. This one's got some modifications to it, uh, and we'll discuss what that looks like. So uh, if this is the kind of stuff that interests you, stick around. Right, thanks for hanging around. Um, so, like I said, we're going to look at the differences between the, um, the original configuration as it was issued and then some configurations that were modified by the users. So I'm going to do this for, for these two uh, K-bars, and then I'm also going to show you some Western um, Mark 1s. So let's start with the original one here. Let's see it's Mark USN. K bar only in New York. You can see black plastic spacers between the pommel and the guard and the leather handle. Um, beautiful bluing on this one. This particular Mark I, K bar Mark I, uh, is probably the nicest uh, one that I have in my collection. It's got about, I would say, easily. 95 plus percent of its original bluing. The leather on the stacked washers on the handle are great, great condition. So, and this is the, the sheet that was issued with. So let's look at the modified one, right? Again, USN. K-Bar, it's kind of hard to make out, but it does say only in New York. Now, clearly this knife has seen a lot more use a lot more service than the other one but you can also clearly see that the pommel was squared off right it appears that it may have been filled with lead right here before it was ground flat and you see they squared off the pommel reduced it in the front squared it on the side so that you can wear it next to your body without the pommel making it stick out and the notched finger grooves into the leather, right? And it frankly feels pretty good. This one also has a uh, handmade sheath, which is frankly a little too big for this knife, a little too long, I should say. Um, and the only reason that I included the homemade sheet is because I'm about to show you another one. Another modified World War II Mark I. Again, start with looking at the original configuration. This is the Western Cutlery version of the Mark I. And here's one that's been modified. And it has, a, again, a handmade sheath. And I have another one that's been modified as well. Um, this one has been in uh, one of, at least one of my other videos. Um, I got this out of a uh, sea chest from, a, from an estate sale. And you can see the mice got to the handle. <laughs> Uh, on this poor knife, but again, you can see right the pommel was squared off the original pommel right is round So you can see not only was it squared off, but it was ground flat right And again, this is a knife that shows considerably more wear considerably more use and uh, It actually has a pretty decent edge on it right at the moment you can see it did have some some rusting at some point. Um, and here's the other modified one. And this one, the, the pommel is much smaller. It's not flattened the way that one is, right? You compare it to the original pommel, you can see the differences. Um, 
on this one the spacers, red, black, and red spacers that come on the original, right? This one is kind of ground up, but this one appears to have been filled in with a piece of black plastic spacer. Now the western knives were never marked Mark 1. And again, so let's look at the original configuration. Uh, the bluing on these knives when they're original, when they're when they're new is just stunning, beautiful. Uh, this one of course has been sharpened quite a bit. Not by me, by the, the people that had it before me. Um, you can clearly see the western Boulder, Colorado and the patent number. And you might be able to make out the owner's initials carved into the leather washer um, and also, his name is on the sheath. So this this is the original sheath, right? Or the sheath, I should say, the sheath that it was issued with. So I think those are interesting variations to uh, to look at knives that have been modified by their users, you know, for their own purposes. Um, now, there's no way to guarantee that these modifications were made by the sailors they were issued to, but I believe they were. Um, and I'm still looking for good reference photographs um, of modified knives like this. So if you have good reference photographs or you know where I can find some, I, I would appreciate it if you would uh, include it down in the comments. And once again, thanks for joining me. If this was entertaining, educational, um, you know, whatever, interesting. Uh, I ask you to please give me a thumbs up. Um, if this is the kind of content that you like, please hit that subscribe button. I don't make a lot of videos, so I'm not going to fill your box up with spam. Um, most of my stuff is focused around uh, military equipment, mostly knives, helmets, and that, you know, that those kinds of things. So thanks again for joining me. Uh, I appreciate it very much. And have a great day. God bless America.